Hello, friends, and welcome back to 20 Questions With. For those of you who are new to the, this series, this is my fun way of introducing you to other costumers and costumers and asking them 20 silly questions. Today, we are talking to Morgan Donner. Welcome to my channel, Morgan. Um, I think this is the first time you've been on my channel, other than a brief cameo during costume college. That might be right. Yeah. We did do um, that fun, fun live video up on your channel, though, when I was there. So that was awesome. For those of you who haven't seen it, I'll link it down below for you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your channel and whatever you want to share? Sure. Uh, I am Morgan Donner. I do historical costuming, uh, predominantly like late medieval to like end of the 16th century. Definitely my jam. Although lately I've been kind of forced due to weird social events with friends, the future. Uh, I've had to branch out a lot later, but it's good. It's been fun to kind of force myself to learn something new. So that's kind of been my last year. It's a lot of branching out. Cool. Do you want to talk about your shop? Sure. Uh, I can give you a very brief tour. I did not clean up, so enjoy. No, no, your um, Etsy shop. Oh, I thought you meant like workshop. I assume that that workshop is not totally accessible right now because you're about to get a new workshop. It's true. I am getting a new workshop. <laughs> uh, I do have an Etsy shop. Usually there's just a couple different items there that are things that I wanted. Yeah. And a lot of times manufacturers will have a like minimum order status. So I'm like, well, I want one. Hopefully at least a few hundred other people will also want one. Yeah. I, I, I want one of everything. So <laughs> basically how my shop was born. So <laughs> that's cool. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, and if you're here, you probably know, Morgan and I have a podcast called Ladies Who Genre, where we talk about fun books that we wanted to read. And everybody asks us how we choose our books and how if it's strategic and all that stuff. I'm like, nope. <laughs> we just had these books, so <laughs> we're going to read them. So, yep. yeah. Uh, right <laughs> now, the one that just came out is The Dresden Files, book one, and we are currently reading the most recent two Dresden Files books, and I think we're going to record one for those, yeah? Pretty soon, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have to read both of them. <laughs> Soon is relative. It'll be within the next like couple months at most. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's true. <laughs> Are you ready to play 20 questions? 20 questions, let's go. Okay, what was the first concert you ever went to? I, I think it was something called Explosions in the Sky, or maybe that was a song. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and it was like a, I went with my uh, partner and a bunch of his friends at the time, and I'm like, what is this? So, have you been to Bumper Shoot? I have not. I've heard of it, but I've not been. As like a grunge kid, Bumper Shoot was like goals. It was the Lollapalooza of Seattle, with even cooler than Seattle, or even cooler than Lollapalooza, because it was all these Seattle like grunge people making it happen. Yeah. So I have a bunch of friends who enjoy going, but yeah, hasn't not for me yet. Okay. Is a Pop-Tart a calzone? I think of calzones as needing to have pizza-like ingredients. Oh, okay. So if you convince me that there's a pizza Pop-Tart out there, I would consider that one a Isn't calzone. that a Hot Pocket? Yeah. <laughs> That's a pizza Pop-Tart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I, but I feel like it doesn't have the right internal ingredients. Yeah. It's not a Pop-Tart TM. Yeah. All right. What is the weirdest job you've ever had? I worked at a comic book store for several oh, years. That's no, cool. that's wrong. It felt like several years because I was young. Uh, <laughs> it was like six months, uh, <laughs> but it was fun. It was uh, fun because, you know, it's not just comic books. It's also like gaming and yeah. it was, it was a good time. I can't believe you've never told me that before. I don't know. It's not one of those, like, my past job experiences have not often come up in conversation. But, like, I worked at a comic book shop, my... Yeah, I, I think we don't talk comics nearly enough. Okay, well, we'll have to fix that. If we ever do uh, Neil, Neil Gaiman's new book, uh, that he had, like, the, the multi-cast audio reading yes. of, which I am so looking forward to, uh, if we ever do that for our podcast, 
there's a good chance I will also talk a lot about his comic books, which I really, really enjoyed. Why don't we just decide that we're going to do that one next? All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how our decisions are made, people. You've seen it live. <laughs> okay, what is the last gift you gave someone? Last gift I gave someone? I... I'm one. It it might be our secret Santa. No, when I visited Marika for her, uh, her like her her shop, yeah. <laughs> sewing area, uh, kind of remodel reorganization. Uh, I I left her a mystery gift. Ooh. Uh, it, it was nothing super like crazy. Uh, it was a book like a journal type book. I happened to see at some place with like roses on it, and wow. I was just, like this makes me think of Marika. So I got it and uh, I hid it in her house and she found it like a few weeks later. It was like, <sighs> I love to know. So she know that like where this book came from, but that might be the last one. All right. If you could trade places with any other person for a week, famous or not, living or dead, real or fictional, who would it be? Oh, good goodness. Um, I mean, fictional, like I, I kind of want to be some nameless ensign on the Enterprise. <laughs> who did not wear a red shirt. <laughs> yeah, like someone who doesn't go on any adventures. That's fine. I'm happy to stay on the ship. Like, but how cool, right? Because how likely is it that we're going to do you meet space travel in our lifetime? Right. Like being able to experience that for a week and somebody with like, hopefully no responsibilities. Like, I don't want to command the ship. <laughs> No named characters. They've got it. I'll just, uh, you know, look around and like mop the floors. And you get access to the holodeck. <laughs> that would be fun, right? Right? That'd be awesome. That's a good call. Okay, if you ran away and joined the circus, what would your performance be? And it does not have to be limited to like known circus performances. Hmm. I think it'd be super cool to do any of, any of the like fire type performances yeah uh, whether it's like juggling things or the like hoops or like uh fire breathing anything like that I think visually very cool yeah I like those people who go in the on the motorcycle into the big cage of fire and they spin around on their motorcycle <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like that's pretty amazing all right uh when someone finds out what you do what question do they always ask you that's a hard thing to answer in part because not very many people find out what I do. Yeah. But uh, either they already know because mm -hmm. they are like SCA or um, historical geek friends anyway. So they've just, they've known me before I even started doing yeah. videos. So like it, it doesn't come up. Right. Right. Or they are random, like, uh, meeting a friend of a friend it doesn't exactly come up uh-huh um so when they find out though what question do they ask you i think one of the first questions i have gotten from the few people that i've wanted to know more but didn't already know would be like how much do you make mm -hmm. which is an interesting like <laughs> first yeah. question to go for but yeah all like, right. Is that sustainable? Was always mine. I, I think, yeah, I think that's really what they, they mean, you yeah. know, is like, is that actually something that you can do to make money and like live? Yeah. Uh, the, the fact that I still have a day job means apparently not, but yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Relevant to your earlier statement, would you ever try space tourism if you had the money for it? I mean, yeah. Uh, presumably once we've surpassed all of the necessary safety, blah, 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 you know, and it's fine. And it's not like literally spending your life savings because now nah, I'm good. But if it's the same as like any other vacation, that level, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. You know? I 100% would not do it. Really? Absolutely you not. You want to go on space adventures? I'm a surface dweller. Fair. I want to come back to the service. I don't want to stay up there, but visiting would be nice. Yeah. I like, I do like um, really nice scenic views. Uh -huh. So like, you know, the, whenever you're doing a road trip and they're like, there's a spot where you can pull off and it's like, pull off here to get a nice view of the, 
the river and the valley and the mountains and stuff. And I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. I I love that too. (laughs) I think if I saw the earth that far away, I would just throw up. Yeah. (laughs) It's so cute. (laughs) It's marble like What workers have the worst job? I don't know that there is a job that is the absolute worst because I bet you there's someone that really enjoys what they do and feels like it makes a difference or feels like it's a really beautiful fit for them and their life. Yep. So, but yeah, anybody who's really, really desperately unhappy. Yeah. Like, that's not, like, that means you in that position are not a good fit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What, in your opinion, is the most amazing animal? Giraffes are pretty freaking amazing. Uh, they don't they don't look like they should be possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They look like they should just immediately fall over. Uh, <laughs> like that horse in the end season of the good place that they keep putting in the background of everything that has that like wobbly neck. <laughs> horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. No, I think that's the most like kind of out there creature there is okay what is the weirdest food you've ever eaten so this is particularly choice for you because morgan donner will eat literally anything she will try anything i i will try anything i i feel like saying i will eat anything puts it into a weird like eating of non-food things yeah okay i feel like it needs to be qualified as food okay (laughs) <laughs> trying it uh but to be honest I don't know that I've tried anything terribly weird I mean lots of different seafoods but then again lots of people have tried lots of different seafoods mm-hmm. um I feel like I remember there was a very strange fruit uh when I was in Hawaii that I w- grew there like uh, cause sometimes people would bring it to, to school, you know, little bag of like these fruit things. And I remember they looked really weird, but, it, and like you, it had like a shell sort of, and you peeled off the shell, but I can't remember more than that. <laughs> like I just had this very, because you asked, like, I don't yeah. actively think about this, right? Yeah. 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 And you had this very weird, like deja vu sense. Maybe it's like lychee or something oh uh-huh maybe that's what it is i'd have to like google pictures to check if that matches my memory or if i'm just saying a weird word i don't know <laughs> but somewhere in there maybe it was a real weird looking food i remember all right what luxury is totally worth the price mm, that is a good question i feel like i I'm definitely one of those people that tends to be like, meh, I'll get the cheap version. It's fine. Um, I do like brand mac and cheese, craft. I don't. <laughs> there I'm is no mac and cheese other than craft. <laughs> it's not luxury, but I'm like, what are some of the few things? And I'm like, nope, brand, please. Um, I don't know. Can you think of any examples to help yeah, me? Yeah, like a massage, a spa day. No. Wow. Wow, I think massages are totally worth the price. I think I think I have, uh, you know, I come from a a family that didn't make a lot of money, and Mm -hmm. I have spent the vast majority of my life not having a lot of money. So I think that the concept of something being worth it means that it's it still needs to be pretty low. So Mm -hmm. maybe craft mac and cheese is my level of like, yeah, that's worth it. (laughs) <laughs> they're a but, dollar a box <laughs> you know it's it's those little tiny tiny things sure I also come from a very like poor upbringing like my mom was a single parent and we didn't have very much money at all until I was well into high school but that actually makes me appreciate the luxuries even more and my luxury items are still like the low end of love of luxury but like yeah a massage <laughs> <laughs> for sure I think treating yourself to like a really nice charcuterie board every once in a while like buying all the different little whatevers mm-hmm. just making a huge spread I feel like that's absurdly expensive but kind of worth it once in a while yeah 
All right. Also specifically chosen for Morgan Donner. If you were a potato, what potato format would you be in? I mean, my first answer was going to be a very good potato. <laughs> Everybody should strive to be a good potato. Uh, How would you be cooked? Ooh, the, that, I don't know what they're called. You, you, you grate a potato and then you smoosh all the moisture out. And then I think you put maybe like some flour and salt and pepper. Isn't that hash browns? Maybe. But I feel like there's a specific like potato pancakes maybe is maybe what I'm thinking. Oh, like a latka? Maybe. Okay. But we I describe how it's made. That's the closest I can get you. Hash brownie somehow. Yeah, yeah. But I like I like the um uh crispy but also soft textures, you know, good mix. Yep. Uh, I feel like fries don't often quite hit that same mark. Yep. They can, but something about the like pancake. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? I mean, I had very lofty goals of being uh, a president someday when I was right. very young. Uh, although now I'm like, that seems like work. That's a lot of work, friend. <laughs> so even if you tell me I couldn't fail, I'm kind of like, I don't really wanna. So maybe if we step it down, what would I actually maybe want to do? Yeah. Uh, if I couldn't fail, man, I think I'm the most boring person in the world. I just want to. I want to live my life without failing. Can I just do that? Yeah, you can totally do that. That's can like, I just like you know a completely valid I mean, answer. <laughs> YouTube full time. That'd be nice. But then again, I don't know that there's a point of failure per se. When you don't make I, enough money to survive on it. That Slash is true. That doesn't necessarily mean I failed. Inability to retire. Yeah. That would definitely be a, a tricky thing. I can't think of like one fun thing, really. I would fly. <laughs> Teleport, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking like humanly possible. <laughs> no, I am, but like... I wish superpowers into existence, this is a very different discussion. There is nothing about physics that says we can't teleport. <laughs> but, I mean, if superpowers are on the, on the, the menu, then... No, no, that's a no. realistic goal for, for that. Like, they have actually moved quantum elements before, so... Yeah. Uh, sh sure, fine. Then what I would do is invent, like, Star Trek-style teleporters. Uh, that is what I would do. I would invent that. I would make that happen so that everybody could have uh, teleporting superpowers. There you go. <laughs> okay. If you were trying out for a singing reality show, what song would you sing? What comes to my mind? There's a very big part of me that's tempted to say Baby Shark. Because yeah. <laughs> now that's in everyone's head. You're evil. <laughs> Morgan Donner is a little evil. Don't tell anyone. A little bit. But it, I don't know, whatever song happens to be stuck in my head. Oh, although I've been listening to the Hamilton soundtrack on repeat for like a month and a half. Yep. So I like, I think Helpless is very, I, I like the, the ladies like love songs. All of the ladies songs I, I really enjoy. I go satisfied because that is me. I am never satisfied. So I get it. Yeah. But you know, I'm going to stick with it. Baby shark. Come All right. <laughs> totally valid. <laughs> what is your favorite magical or mythological animal? Mm, I feel like dragons have a very, like, soft, squishy spot in my heart where they live. Uh, just, they're cool. They're kind of like the magical animal to some extent. Yeah. You know, I realize that there are others, like, unicorns are maybe kind of, but... No, dragon. Dragons. Dragons are number one. Yeah. Also, they have magic. Like, uh, did you did you ever read uh, Rage of Dragons? Why, yes, I did, and it will be on our upcoming podcast. There's no dragons in there. Actually, there are. <laughs> there is. There are just not very many. No. Um. Um. I think it was Anne McCaffrey, the the little dragons, the, <laughs> the series about them. I'm I'm blanking on the name. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, but I haven't read that. Is it good? Uh, <laughs> she she did a, I mean, 
she did tons of books about dragons, but specifically she did a few fire lizards. That's what she calls them. Oh, okay. They, this world has like very tiny dragons that like are mostly feral. They're basically cats that live in the wilderness. Uh, and like a girl befriends like nine of them. I think that I read that at kind of like a formative age, apparently. Yeah. I'm like, ugh, the only thing I want in the world is a tiny baby dragon. I might be still at that formative age. So yeah, I might I might explore that option. <laughs> I, I think it, it was written to be to be like um um young adult fiction. Yeah. The specific ones I'm thinking of. Uh-huh. Uh it's very cute. Definitely recommend Googling whatever that is. I, I'm a young adult. <laughs> Uh, what fictional world or place would you like to visit? I mean, now that we're talking about Anne McCaffrey's world. But no, they have like acid rain there. Oh, that like, sounds horrible. Acid falling from the sky. Yeah. I don't, that seems dangerous. Part of me wants to visit like the spirit realm in uh, in Avatar. Oh, yeah. That's like cool. they... It seems like just such a, a crazy place. I feel like I would need a guide mm-hmm. because there are some things there that want to eat you or steal your face or whatever, right? Not good. Uh, but as long as like I felt like I had a, 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 a friendly guide uh, to keep me not eaten, yeah, that'd be a, a lovely place to visit. That sounds awesome. Yeah. All right, another one chosen specifically for you, and the last of the regular questions. What is your favorite noodle dish? Oh, mm, I really like bow ties. Like, okay. of all the noodle shapes, I think that is one of my favorite. Big fan. Um, particularly fond of white, like, Alfredo-type sauces. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if you have, like, a bow tie sauce with Alfredo and, like, toss whatever else in there. I don't know, you toss some peas or some chicken or shrimp or whatever. But if you start with like bow ties and a white sauce, I'm going to be into it. I go the other side of the planet. I go Padke Mount, man. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Very tasty. But I don't know, there's something about the the, like creamy sauces that I'm a big fan. Yeah. Alfredo's great. And the super controversial bonus question also, people, feel free to leave your opinion down below, but please know that I've heard every explanation, every justification, I've seen every meme, so you can just give me the shorthand of which one you subscribe to. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh. <laughs> How did you not see that coming? <laughs> I thought that was going to be like some kind of super controversial, you know. It political. is super controversial. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> COVID blew up over it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see yeah. why not. <laughs> sure. I feel like there's a bunch of sandwiches that look like hot dogs. Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't need me to explain. As you've already said, you've heard all the explanation. No, 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 you can tell them. I'm telling them not to leave me like an essay per comment because like, man, my DMs were insane for like two weeks. I'm like, stop with the hot dogs, people. <laughs> Uh, have you started listening to that one hot dog is a sandwich podcast no I have not I got Uh, hot dog is a is a sandwich burned out for a few weeks there well they don't actually (laughs) talk about that one oh really amusingly enough that's the title because people recognize it uh but they talk about a bunch of other similar to your calzone pop tart uh-huh. conversation they also talk about like you know does pineapple belong on pizza and the the host will each take a stance uh-huh. uh whether or not they each actually feel debatable yeah. yeah but kind of like a debate class each yeah. of them takes a stance and like argues for it uh-huh. which is just very really fun i really That's enjoy awesome. it yeah i've been um reading my harry dresden books for the last two months so yeah all your audio times taken up yeah, pretty much. But I, I, it's on my list for sure. So it will happen. All righty. Thank you for joining me, Morgan. And thank you to everyone out there for joining us today. I will leave Morgan's accounts and her shop down below so that you can go check it out and show her some love. This is my heart, which looks like a butt and not an actual heart. 
<laughs> if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what you guys are up to. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye guys.